hello everyone in this video I will be sharing with you how to start your Microsoft Access database for your SBA using a spreadsheet file so for this activity we are going to be looking at what the requirements for are in the database so if we scroll down to where it says database in the file it says you are asked to use a suitable application to manage data on candidates nominated to contest seats in the general elections three tables must be used to store the data the table with relevant personal data on each candidate should include candidate id and that id should include the candidate's initial that's the first and last initial along with a three-digit number the table should also include title first name last name address and the address will be broken down into street town and parish then you have the date of birth gender profession constituency constituency number party and votes received now normally what you would do is you would create a database a blank database then create your tables design your tables and then type in the data but in this case it's going to take so too long and that is why we're going to be using the spreadsheet to accomplish this so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a blank open the the elections database file we're going to insert a new worksheet and then we're going to type all the we're going to be using all the field names that were given for the candidate table we're going to use them as the column headings in the spreadsheet so i'm going to go ahead and start and the first thing is going to be the candidate id so candidate id then title first name last name address which is street town and then parish then we're going to have date of birth i'm going to use dob for short gender profession constituency constituency number use no for short the number of voters okay now that we have the column headings what we're going to do to make our lives easier is we are going to we're going to copy and paste the information or the data from the elections data backup because that sheet would have the most recent data so one of the things we know that we have is the persons we have their, they have their first name so i'm going to highlight the all all the first names that are inside of the elections data backup i'm going to copy them and i'm going to go down to the sheet that i created and i'm going to click on the first name in the cell on the first name right click and then paste and all the first names will appear i'm going to go ahead and do that for the last names as well so highlight all the last names copy right click copy go back to sheet one right click on the last name and paste now you will have to create your own street town and parish date of birth as well as you will have to type in the gender you'll have to also make up the profession but the constituency is something that you will know so we're going to go back to the elections data backup and we're going to select highlight all the constituencies copy them and then we're going to go ahead and paste that the constituency number you will have to make up the number of voters that is something you can copy again so we go ahead highlight all the number of voters and if you notice they're all in the same order so there's no need to be rearranging them in the new sheet so now we have all the data that we could possibly copy the rest we cannot copy and so what you are going to do is you are going to go through and you're going to put in the other additional values now for the candidate id remember it's first and last initial but so jh and a three digit number what i usually do is i start with a three digit number say for example 100 and i auto fill the one then i go to 101 
then I highlight the first the two two cells that have 100 and 101 then I go to auto fill and I go right down to the last person that way I have some three digit numbers and all I do know is I go to the front of the number and type the initials for example J H G T M G I'm going to go ahead and put in I'm going to go ahead and put in the remaining ID numbers and you will see what it looks like at the end if you notice now I have all of the candidate IDs in and I'm going to go ahead and put in the title so this person is a male so I'm going to use mister then Graham Thompson is also a mister and what you can do is if you've typed mister once in the cell just click on it copy it right click on copy it and then if you have several males together for example in this case I have two males I just simply paste and I go again and I just simply paste in all of the sections that have males in them so I don't have to keep typing I'm going to do go ahead and fill in all the titles and then you will see what everything looks like now that I have put in all my titles I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to now go in and put in the constituency number you could go ahead and put in a gender before but I'm going to put in a constituency number now the first constituency I have is East so for the constituency number it's the initial of the can constituency along with a three-digit number so the most the, the most characters you can have in your constituency number is going to be five because some constituencies have two words so East would have E for example one zero zero and then west i'm going to say w west one zero zero one east central ec one zero two south s one zero three southwest sw one zero four northwest nw one zero five and then north n one zero six so you're going to notice now that we have put in all the constituencies and they have started to duplicate so what i'm going to do for all the east i'm going to copy the east and just locate all the east and paste them and i'm going to do the same thing for the remaining constituency numbers and return so now if you look i have included all of the constituency numbers ensure that for this each constituency that you have all occurrences of east for example has the same constituency number otherwise if you don't have it like that when you get to the database you're going to have some challenges now what you're going to do you're going to go ahead and put in some streets some towns some parishes some address information make sure that you type it correctly you're going to put in the gender and then you're going to put in the profession I'm going to go ahead and put in some things i'm not going to put in all of them and then we're going to go ahead and create a table in microsoft office access okay now that i have entered some more data in the table this is what the table looks like you are not going to leave your table like this you are going to finish filling in the profession for all persons the address information street town and parish and the date of birth once you have done that it is now a simple process to create your database and then the table in the database so in order to create the database you're going to look for access you're going to use Microsoft Access 2007 or 13 whichever version you have I have 2007 so I'm going to click blank database I'm going to save my database in a particular location I'm going to in order to do that I'm going to go to browse and then I am going to find the location and return to the video so my database is called elections database and what we're going to do is we're going to click on the create tab and then this is what it will look like please ensure that you put your 
name at the end of your database file so in this this is the database screen it automatically gives you a table one but we're not going to use table one we're going to go back to our spreadsheet file and we're going to highlight everything that is on the new sheet that you had you could actually rename the sheet and call it candidate data candidate personal data right press enter so we're going to highlight everything on the candidate personal data table all the way down to the bottom where the last piece of data is we're going to copy it then we're going to go back to the database in this white section below table one we're going to write that is on the left hand side and we're going to paste it will say to you it will ask you does the first row of your data contain column headings you should say yes because that first row that you typed in the spreadsheet that is this row right here that's this first row it does contain the headings for your data so we're going to say yes and it will tell you all objects were imported imported success successfully click OK and it will create a table if you double click on the table you will see the table of course mine was not complete and you need to complete yours what the one of the first things that we need to do after we have pasted the table is to go to the design view so we make sure that we select the table and we go to design view and we're going to ensure that the data types and everything else is okay with all the fields now for the candidate ID field it will be the primary key as in it will be used to uniquely identify each record the field size is going to be five because it is first and last initial plus a three-digit number date of birth data type will be date slash time the number of voters the data type will be number the constituency number the data type is going to be is the data so the field size is going to be no less than five because some constituencies actually have two initials and if you look at this, this there's nothing else in this table that we need to edit so we're going to save the table and it's, it will say to you that some data may be lost because you have changed the field size in this case no data will be lost because we know that the highest field size for constituency number is five and the highest for candidate ID is five so we click yes to continue anyway and we click on the the icon here in order to go back to the data sheet view you are going to do the same thing for the remaining tables and then you are going to in the next lesson we will be looking at how to do the relationships